President Joe Biden and former President Trump. They're going to be taking the debate stage. I don't know if it's going to be like a cage match or not. Both agreeing uh, for two dates. The first one's going to happen June 27th. And joining us right now, Alex Thompson, national political correspondent Axios. Good morning to you. Uh, let's talk about the idea this is even happening and, and the rules that have been imposed or not imposed uh, on this debate. What are we supposed to expect? Yeah, so a few important things. There's not going to be an audience. At the moment, it's just one-on-one, -on -one, no third-party candidate. Um, the first one's going to be hosted by CNN, the second one by ABC. And really striking that the first, this is the earliest presidential debate ever, and not by a little bit, by a long shot. The earliest presidential debate ever before this was September 21st. So that means even the second presidential debate is going to be the earliest general election debate ever. And June 27th, what this allows the Joe Biden campaign to do, let's say he has a terrible debate, this gives them four months to make up whatever damage that may be done before Election Day. But that seems like a very strange strategy. So <laughs> to try to do something, thinking you're not going to do well, so you have another chance at it. Because okay. what, it'll, be it'll be four months older, which matters probably at this time. I mean, we see every four months. Prob you could decline in four months when you get to that age, uh, which, which what, was what we've seen in the past couple of years, right? He's a totally different guy two years ago. Well, think of it this way. It's basically, you know, there it, it is a risk by getting on stage with Donald Trump. Donald Trump has shown basically no disre no regard for normal debate rules. You may remember four years ago, he likely had COVID and got on stage with Joe Biden. So the Biden campaign does not trust that Joe, that, that Donald Trump is going to be, you know, a, a rational or, or a fair actor here. You know, basically by having it early, is it's a hedge on this bet. So, uh, you know, basically, Joe Biden wanted to debate. That's the only reason this is happening right now. Joe Biden thinks that if he gets on stage with Donald Trump, it will rebound to his benefit, that it will help with some of these polls. And that is why this is happening. But it's a hedge saying, What, what you know, do his advisors out, think? Sorry? What do his advisors think? They're split. I have to be honest with you. Basically, there are some advisors, and you saw Nancy Pelosi sort of speak up to this yesterday when she said that she would advise nobody to get on a stage with Donald Trump, but the president has decided what he wants to do. Now, some of his advisors think he's going to be fine, but there are definitely some people in the Biden camp that don't see the, that basically see this as more risky than, than not. I saw the opposite uh, put forth, and that was that he saw the, the, the swing state numbers last week, I think it was in the, in the New York Times, and it, it, Ipsa, was that what it was? Saw those, and some of those numbers are, are staggering, and, and also with Hispanics and, and other uh, uh, groups that, that he thought he could count on. He saw those and, and is being forced to consider a debate. I, I, I guess it's possible that, that the president himself uh, says he wants to be in a debate, but anybody around him would say, Mr. President, let's think about this, probably, I, I would think. But, but it, the, the, the notion was that he was forced, his hand was forced to accept, I think, I'd say the opposite, I'd say Trump definitely wants a debate to get Biden uh, off script, off, off reading a teleprompter. I mean, I think it can be all these things, and everyone has sort of their own interests, but I, I would not underestimate the, the power of ego in both of these right. candidates pushing for these debates. Donald Trump's campaign responded yesterday that they wanted not just two debates, but they wanted a debate every month. They already did a counter proposal to have another debate in July, another one in August, and another one in October. They've already accepted the invitation of Fox News with Brett Baer and Martha McCallum to do a debate in October. The Biden campaign has basically said no deal, that we proposed two debates, and that's it. That's all you're going to get.